Hey, what's up, everybody? My name's Don, and I want to welcome you to Southern Hills Church. Today is Sunday, November 22nd, and I want to thank you for being part of our online worship service. Uh, thank you uh, for being a worshiper of Jesus and not a spectator. Today is actually a beautiful day. I'm shooting this uh, video outside because it is gorgeous, and man, we know that there's some cold days coming. So, church, I want to thank you for your continued support through your tithes and offerings. Continue to send in uh, those offerings to the church, or you can use the Southern Hills Give Plus app. Uh, there's some information about it right now, right now uh, that'll pop up in the chat. During the chat, I encourage you to, to leave a comment. Let us know who you are. Let us know what you need prayer for. We would love to connect you and, and connect to you and with you. And I would love to personally pray for anything that um, you may be going through that you need some prayer for and encouragement. Um, a couple things coming up. Today, after the second service at 1130, we're going to come together and decorate the church for the season of Christmas. And uh, um, man, and we're also going to set up our living nativity stable. So if you're able, uh, come to church, uh, bring a mask, please. And uh, wear one as we um, come together and uh, hang the greens and set up some Christmas trees and make our sanctuary and worship space look beautiful. So that's happening today at 1130. Uh, if you have not signed up to help with Living Nativity yet, we need your help. There was an email sent out on Thursday. If you didn't get that, please let us know so we can get you the right information. Uh, friends, that is all the major announcements I have for you on this day that God has given us. If you are new or visiting with us for the first time, my name is Don, and I would love to encourage you in your walk with Jesus. Thank you for being part of worship today. Amen and amen. Let's enjoy the service together. Come set your rule and reign in our hearts again. Increase in us, we pray. Unveil what we're made. Come set our hearts ablaze with hope, like wildfire in our very souls. Holy Spirit, come invade us now.
what's up, Southern Hills kids and youth? I pray you are doing well. I want to take some time and specifically talk to you today. Um, later on in the service, I'm going to be speaking to your moms and dads and grandmas and grandpas who go to the church, and we're going to be talking about ways that we can give generously to God. I want to be encouraging our, our parents and our, our grandparents to step up $5 a Sunday uh, for those who currently give and, and for those who have never given before to step up for the first time to give $5 a Sunday. And, and I, I'm going to tell you, kids and youth, it, it is going to be amazing what God can do. So, so listen, listen later on in this service for what God can do if everybody steps up five. So... What am I going to talk to you guys about today? In here, I have a piggy bank. This is a Philadelphia Eagles piggy bank. And I want to encourage you to fill your piggy banks up at home. Um, so what does this mean? And what does this look like? Well, January 1st is, is coming fast. Uh, the new year, 2021, is it's going to be here before we know it. And I want to challenge you for all of 2021 to fill up your piggy bank. Some of you have an allowance where mom and dad give you a, you know, um, <clears throat> a certain dollar amount at the end of each week or month for you to, to do whatever with uh, based upon the chores that you do at the house. <clears throat> what I would like you to do with that allowance is give some to God. So what does this mean? When I was growing up, <clears throat> excuse me, my parents uh, set up a bank account for my brother, sister, and I once we were old enough to do chores. And, and we received an allowance, and the deal was my parents were, were going to give me 10 bucks a week. We were to put $9 in the bank to save, and, and that, that uh, $1 we would be able to save every week to put towards something. Now... Um, being honest, I, I would put it towards baseball cards or, or candy or ice cream, something after I'd save up, uh, you know, a whole month's worth. So, um, but, but where am I going with this? So think about the, the allowances you guys may get. And if you don't have an, have an allowance, maybe, maybe you'll do some chores for mom and dad or grandma and grandpa where they'll, they'll give you a couple extra bucks. Whatever that means, I want to encourage you to save 10% for Jesus. Save 10% for Jesus. So if you do a chore around the house, you get a $10 reward, right? I want you to put a dollar of that 10 bucks in a piggy bank, and I want you to save it for a year. Any extra money that you get, I want, I want to encourage you to, to save 10% of it for Jesus in a piggy bank. Or maybe it's a separate bank account you start. And now here's the cool thing. When, do this for all of 2021. And when 2022 gets here, I want you to decide where that savings for Jesus is going to go. It might go to an organization in Sioux Falls like Feeding South Dakota or, or the Backpack Program or uh, the Furniture Mission or an organization called Sleep in Heavenly Peace, which goes towards making beds for people in kids in Sioux Falls who don't have a bed. Did you know that there are 6,000 kids and teenagers who don't have a bed to sleep in in, in Sioux Falls, South Dakota? So that, that is a big number. Maybe, maybe it go to, goes towards that. Maybe, um, yeah, maybe you'll, you'll use it to do a special project for, for a neighbor or, or someone you care for. Whatever you do, I want to encourage you to save 10%. If you don't know what, what 10% is of something, ask mom and dad to, to help you out. Ask uh, grandma and grandpa to help you out. But, but to, to give you an idea, if you were given 10 bucks, I want to encourage you to save a dollar out of every 10 bucks you're given for Jesus. Put it in a piggy bank and put 2022 for Jesus. And when 2022 gets here, Instead of saying, oh my gosh, look at all this money that I saved for Jesus. Uh, um, I wonder if I could just use a little of it for myself instead of actually giving it all to mission. Friends, I want to encourage you to use it all for Jesus. Because we have the ability to change the world. Reaching one more for Jesus Christ who isn't here. Doing something amazing with the, the resources 
God gives us, even through a simple chore throughout the house. I encourage you to, to save for Jesus, and, and, and maybe um, that nine bucks that you're going to use from a, a $10 chore, maybe you'll, you'll, you'll decide that, ah, maybe I can save a little more for Jesus too. But I want you to start, start by saving a buck for every 10 bucks you're given, and see what you can do for the kingdom of God here in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. This is something we all can do, whether we are uh, two years old or a hundred years old, we can do something great with our financial resources for Jesus Christ. Friends, youth, kids, teens, have a fantastic day and a wonderful Thanksgiving. God loves you and he knows you so well. Have a great one, everybody. Peace.
everybody. Welcome to Sioux Falls Southern Hills Church. My name is Don and I am so thankful that you are worshiping with us today. You are not spectators. You are worshiping with us here in this online worship format. When I think about how God called me into ministry, I honestly can't think of anything else I would rather be doing right now than being your pastor, your pastor here at Sioux Falls Southern Hills. Pastors, we, we have the greatest job in the world. We get to help people grow close to Jesus. We, we get to partner with you in all the things we do in reaching others for Jesus. We get to cry with you. We get to walk the valley of the shadow of death with you. We, we celebrate with you. We encourage you to become the strongest believers from one Sunday to the next. This day, friends, this day right now, Sunday, November 22nd, it's a day I've been praying for since last July. Last July, if you remember, I, I laid out the mission that God put on my heart here for Southern Hills. God put a, a vision on, on my heart for this church, for our church. That vision is reaching one more for Jesus who isn't here. With this vision, you and I, we get to partner with Jesus by being active through our mission. Vision is our destination, and we get to our destination through mission. Mission in 2020, <laughs> it's taken on a different meaning, right? Instead of hands-on projects, I've asked you to be deep, to be deep in prayer, to be deep in prayer for our church neighborhood. I've asked you to, to do prayer walks this, this past fall and to do prayer drives around our church. I've asked you to partner with me in inviting someone new to church, whether it's in person or online. We have been reminded together that, that we can reach one more for Jesus who isn't here by modeling Jesus wherever we go. Telling someone hi in the grocery store or, or maybe, you know, if you feel God moving in your heart, say, Jesus loves you. Reaching one more for Jesus who isn't here, it starts right here within your heart. It starts right here within your heart and answering and joining Jesus in his mission, not only in our church neighborhood, but this city of Sioux Falls. Southern Hills, I know I've, I've said this before, but, but this, this is what you're doing. You want to know what you're doing right now? This is what you're doing. You are waking up on Sundays to spend an hour worshiping together with the body of Christ. You are doing something that millions of people in this country and world find absolutely pointless. Your journey with, with Jesus, it has value and meaning to your life. And because you find meaning here at Southern Hills, I'm going to ask you to pray and pray and pray for God to use you to reach one more for Jesus who isn't here. Pray for that person. Pray for that person who, who thinks Sundays doesn't matter. Pray for that person who, who thinks all this Jesus and, and church stuff is, is one big waste of time. Friends, what we are doing right now is something that we get to do. We get to worship free. Free of persecution. The persecuted church around the world right now would love to do the very thing you and I are doing right now. Today, if you woke up kind of cranky or, or that, you know, that phrase, uh, you woke up on the wrong side of the bed and, and you really weren't looking forward to, to, to being part of the worship service today, but you found yourself here today, what do you have to release to God so that you get pumped up I mean pumped up and excited for Sunday morning because you get to spend time with Jesus in his house of worship in this online church format. I want to encourage you today, Southern Hills, I want to encourage you to keep falling in love with Jesus. Keep growing in your faith. Keep reading the scriptures. Keep praying. Keep asking God to draw you closer to Jesus. Keep asking God to reveal to you how you can make the biggest impact for God's kingdom here at Southern Hills and here in Sioux Falls. Seek God, friends. Seek God when, when you're hungry. Seek God when you're thirsty. 
Seek God when you're frustrated. Seek God when you're angry. Seek God when, when you're celebrating. Seek God when, when things aren't going too well. Th- seek God when, when things are pretty okay. Sundays, as in this one right now, this is for Jesus to receive honor and glory through our worship and for us to draw near to him. So folks, I want to ask you again. If you are holding on to something that you need to release to Jesus so that you can have goosebumps when the Holy Spirit moves through you, through a message and through worship, what do you have to release to Jesus? I want you to release it right now. Because you know what? He can take care of it. As we dive into our passage today, we're going to be hanging out in the book of Matthew, chapter 16. So wherever you are in your house, wherever you're watching this, I want you to go get your Bibles. We're going to be in Matthew 5, verse 16. This is what the scripture says. In the same way, let your light shine before others that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. The word of the Lord. I'm going to say that one more time. In the same way, let your light shine before others so that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. This scripture is is very interesting, right? Our good deeds, as you know, they do not get us into heaven. The deeds that we do, however, they flow out of our love of God, love of people, love of Jesus and his mission through the local church. As we reach one more for Jesus, it is my prayer that the work we do for Jesus shines in this church neighborhood so that others who aren't here yet will get a taste of what it's like to be at Southern Hills. One of the most powerful examples of our light shining this past year was putting up a sign in our, on our church property. Do you remember that? A sign that faced John Harris Elementary. That sign said, John Harris, we are praying for your year. If you remember that, it was the first two days of school and folks from our church came out to extend a greeting to to all the parents and kids as they were getting to school on their first two days. We we, we waved, we we said hello, we we smiled, we extended the, the love of Christ to others and it was so powerful because our light was shining for others to see. In a few weeks, it's coming quick by the way, We're going to have our live living nativity. We're in year 24. Can you believe that? Next year is the 25th anniversary of of the first living nativity. We are in year 24, friends. Our light during living nativity is going to shine for others to see as we tell the greatest story that has ever been told. Friends, I love how active we are on Sunday mornings. Our our volunteers make Sunday mornings happen because of the light that shines in them with Jesus. Right now, you have a host, Ken and Carolyn Gacky. Thank you. Thank you for being our host, for welcoming people into this service. If you're part of this service right now, leave leave a remark. Use that chat. Put an amen or, or hallelujah, whatever it might be. Let us know you're here. Let us know how we can encourage you. Sundays happen because of the light, because of the light that shines in others for all of us. The light that is in Jesus shines for our church. And it shines out of their their love for our congregation. From the music, from the traditional service that we have, from to the contemporary service that we have, from for all the people that, that volunteer with our tech and AV equipment from all the people that that volunteer being part of our safety team, from those who decorate the church, from those who uh, volunteer for events like Living Nativity, to our small group leaders and youth group leaders, our light is shining bright right now, Southern Hills. And it's visible because people step up. People step up to the calling of mission and vision through the local church. Today... Our theme is step up and help further the gospel. When you hear the word step up, what what are some things that that come to mind? 
In 1993, Disney came out with a great baseball movie called Rookie of the Year. Do you remember that? It's a movie about a 12-year-old boy by the name of Henry Rowengartner. And in this movie, Henry, he has a freak accident. He, he messes up his shoulder and he has this cast that he has to wear. And his, his arm is like this, right? So the, his, his shoulder heals, his arm heals, he gets the cast off, and, and just out of nowhere, he can throw the baseball 100 miles an hour. I mean, wouldn't that be great, right? If we all, you know, messed up our shoulder and were able to throw the baseball 100 miles an hour. So, Henry, he's discovered by the Chicago Cubs. And this 12-year-old, he, he, he becomes a starting pitcher for the Cubs. Where, where uh, Henry joins the Cubs, it, it's, it's already part of the season, and they're, they're doing a stretch in American League uh, ball, ballpark stadiums. And in the American League, you have this designated hitter where if you're a National League pitcher, you don't have to hit in an American League park. Now, Henry knew eventually that he was going to have to hit when he would come home to play in Chicago. When it came to, to Henry's rotation in the pitching order, he would, he would eventually have to hit. Now, there's a scene. Uh, go watch this movie because it, oh, it's super funny and it's super great. There's a scene of Henry, a little 12-year-old boy, entering the batter box uh, with this you know, 40-year-old pitcher throwing the ball 95 miles an hour. And he is so tiny in the batter box. And he is standing as far away from the plate as possible so he doesn't get hit. When it comes to baseball, you have to step up if you're going to hit the ball. The pitcher is going to do everything in his power to strike you out. And if you, the batter, are not ready to step up to the plate and hit the ball, you're never going to hit it. You're never going to be able to, to further your career as, as a baseball player if you're not willing to step up to the plate. When it comes to our lives as followers of Jesus, we are never going to be able to further the kingdom of God unless we step up to what God calls us to. God calls us to, to further the kingdom every single day. God calls us to, to further the mission and vision of the church every single day. God calls us to act on faith, not by sight. God calls us to tell others about Jesus inside and outside these walls of the church. One of the ways God calls us to step up is through his mission. Did you know that? One of the ways God calls us to step up is through giving, giving to his mission. God calls us to give generously so that others can see Jesus at work. God calls us to give us to give generously so others can see Jesus at work. This year, friends, at Southern Hills, instead of doing a pledge drive, we're not going to do that. We're not going to do a pledge drive this year. I'm going to ask you to step up in your giving. In our church right now, and this is awesome, there are 87 families or individuals that give on a regular basis. Outside of those 87 regular givers, at Southern Hills, we, are, we have 46 families or individuals who don't currently give on a regular basis. For those of you who don't currently give, I want you to wrestle with God right now, and I want you to step up. If you have never given financially to the church before, step out in faith and then step up by giving $5 a week. $5 a week to the church. Now, listen to this, friends. This is, this is what God can do. If God can move in the hearts of those families or individuals, those 46 families or individuals that don't currently give, if God would move in those hearts, and you might be one of them, to start at $5 a Sunday a week for 52 Sundays, that turns out, right? Those 46 families, if, we, if those families do this together, that turns out to be $230 a week for Jesus. Now listen to this. For those of you that love math, you're going to love this. That $230 a week times 52 Sundays is $11,960 a year for Jesus in his work in the local church here at Southern Hills if you would be willing to start at $5 a week for Jesus. $5 a week. 
When my wife Christy and I uh, got married, one of the first things we wanted to do is, is give to the local church. We believed in the, the mission and vision of the church so much that, that giving was what was really important to us. When we were first married, we, we didn't know where to start. We didn't know what to do, but we, we knew we wanted to give. So we started at $15 a week, which was a lot for us then because we had five jobs between us to pay all the bills. The next year, that $15 turned into $20 a week. And the next year, it turned into $25 a week. And each year we've been able to, to step up. We, we, we've stepped up because we believe so much in the power of Jesus through the local church. So friends, if, if you have never given before, I want to challenge you to start at $5 a week for Jesus. And if God puts more on your heart, I want you to listen to him. Listen to God. Wrestle with him. In our jobs that God gives us, he asks for 10% for him. And for you and I to live off the, nine, the remaining 90%. For the 87 current families or individuals who currently give on a regular basis, I want to challenge you also to step up. I want you to step up to $5 more a Sunday on top of what you regularly give. If God puts more on your heart, do more. But in this new year, I want you to step up to $5 more each Sunday. Now, now let me show you what God can do if we do this together. <clears throat> if our 87 families or individuals who currently give on a regular basis, if we all step up to $5 more a Sunday this coming year, we have the potential to bring in an extra $435 a week for the kingdom of God here at Southern Hills. That $435 times 52 Sundays, now listen to this, it is an extra $22,620 for the kingdom of God. If God would move in the hearts of those 46 families or individuals that have not yet given to the church to step up to $5 a Sunday, and if God would move in the hearts of those 87 families who currently give to step up to $5 more a Sunday. Listen to this, friends. We have the ability and potential to raise an extra $34,580 for the work of Jesus in our church in the city of Sioux Falls, right here in our church neighborhood, if we all step up five. We have the potential, church, to do something amazing with the gifts God blesses us with. I'm asking all of you, all of you to step up to $5. I want you to wrestle with God. I want you to wrestle with God over the next few weeks. And as you wrestle with God, if we do this together and step up $5 more, or maybe start at $5, imagine what this would look like. Every so often, we do a mission of the month here at Southern Hills. We actually have quite a few of them, right? In September or in October, we, we made an announcement that we were going to be raising money for the Night Watch Canteen. We, we did that for a month straight. Now imagine if all of us step up to $5 more a Sunday. Instead of doing a mission of the month, our great finance team could say at the end of next year, when it comes to budget for 2022, look, we got this amount left over. Let's fund the canteen so we don't have to do a mission of the month. This month that we're in right now, we are raising money for our live living nativity. And we're doing a mission of the month, asking you to, to give so we can tell the greatest story of, that's ever been told. The money that, that we bring in, it goes towards, towards costumes. It goes towards advertising. It goes towards animals. It goes towards treats and equipment. Now imagine this, friends. Imagine this, if we step up to $5 more, we, we don't have to do a mission of the month anymore for living nativity. One thing that we can't afford is camels. Camels are expensive. They are between $500 to $1,000 for camels. 
Imagine if we all stepped up to $5 more a Sunday. We not only fund living nativity where we don't have to do a mission a month, but we have this surplus where we go out and get camels for our event. Church, dream with me, if you will. What if this time next year we all step up and our finance says, what are we supposed to do with all this extra money? <laughs> all right? What an amazing gift that we can give to our church in reaching one more for Jesus. What an amazing problem to have for a finance team in the church to say, what are we supposed to do with all this extra money? Right now, friends, we have three online services. You are watching one of them right now. We do a Facebook Live for our traditional service, a Facebook Live for our contemporary service, and we do a pre-recorded service that's airing right now at 9.30. What if we all stepped up to $5 more a Sunday? And instead of doing a mission of the month, we have, we have money available that, that we can afford a camera that can zoom in on the pastor and zoom in during our traditional service and zoom in during our contemporary service and, and have some different options where you get different views and different, and different uh, pictures of the service. And we can stream it right off our website because we stepped up. And when we do that, our ministry with our traditional services enhanced our ministry with our contemporary services enhanced what if we all stepped up to five dollars more and we increased our, our kids ministry our youth ministry our worship ministry our hospitality ministry what if what, what if we funded all our our books for all our bible studies right because of everybody stepping up. We have the ability to double and triple what our committees receive to do the mission and work for Jesus through the local church. What if because of you stepping up to $5 a Sunday more, we find out that there is a family in our church neighborhood that is just struggling, that is struggling financially or, or, or struggling uh, due to some medical issues or struggling due, due to a death in the family or, or, or maybe cancer? And what if our, our, our finance team gets wind of this at the end of next year and says, you know what, we have this extra surplus amount of dollars because the people, the church stepped up to $5 more a Sunday that we can bless some people and organizations with here in our church neighborhood and here in Sioux Falls. I'm not asking you to give $5 a day towards the church. I'm asking you to step up $5 a Sunday. $5 is a fancy coffee at Starbucks, right? $5 is two hamburgers and a, a small fry and Coke at Burger King. Friends, this is, this is exciting for me because I know what God can do in, in working in our church neighborhood and here in, in, in our city in Sioux Falls. I know what God can do and it's not possible without you. To come together as a church and say, $5 or more is Sunday, or to be in a place where, you can, where, where, you've set, where you've never been able to give before. And you can find joy at starting at $5 because you know every penny is going towards changing lives. Changing lives and reaching people for Jesus. Friends, let's do this. The potential for us to reach $34,000 on top of our budget, it's there. It is there, friends. This is an attainable goal for all of us. And it can be done by all of us. And when it happens, I mean, wow. What a gift we can give to ourselves as a church and our finance team, who I am so proud of. They do a fine, fantastic job. What a gift we can give to the ministries of, church, of our church. What a gift we can give to the ministries that, that we're going to do here in Sioux Falls and in our church neighborhood. When it comes to budget time, here's the reality, friends. Churches end up cutting ministries because the funds aren't there. When important needs come up, when, when, when things happen in the church, when things need to be replaced or upgraded, churches, they, they scramble to figure out where money is going to come from to make ministry happen. They end up doing fundraisers. Friends, we have, we have an opportunity 
to say, let's, let's not be in a place where we have to wonder where money's going to come from or to be in a place where, where we have to cut and say no to ministries because we don't have the funds. This coming New Year, friends, step up. Commit as a family and individuals to Jesus and his mission here at Southern Hills. Don't say no to God. Say yes to God. Wrestle with God. I believe we can do some amazing works if we all step up five. With what we are already doing here at Southern Hills, we have the ability to enhance our ministries if we step up five. Friends, giving is an absolute joy because of what God can do through our financial gifts. Let's step up five dollars more. Let's step up and, and ask God to bless us as a church more than he already has because we do this together. To reach one more for Jesus who isn't here. Today isn't about money. It's about what God can do through the things that, that he blesses us with. Church, let's, let's do this together. Let's step up to the plate. Let's step up and further the kingdom of Jesus. Let's step up five. Friends, I love you, and I thank you for your partnership with the ministry and mission and vision of the local church through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen and amen.